Hello everyone! Today we will talk about how to write test cases with EasyQA. In our video, we will give answers to the following questions. How to create test plan in EasyQA? How to write test cases? What additional useful features you can use for managing test cases in EasyQA? So, how to create a test plan? EasyQA allows to create test plans and write test cases easily, to work with them in a comprehensible for the user environment. Press New Test Plan button to create a test plan and indicate the test plan's title and its short description. After the test plan has been created, it will be displayed in the browser's window. The left window shows the test plan's title, the creator's name, the date of creation, the number of modules and cases, the date of last changes, the buttons to edit or delete a test plan. After you press the arrow located near the test plan, the pop-up window appears on the right. Here the user is able to view a tree-like shape, the quantity of modules and test cases of a particular test plan. You are able to split your test plan into modules in EasyQA, which makes your work with it much more convenient. Press Add Module button to create a module, entering the module's title and short description. After the module has been created, it will be displayed in your browser's window. How to write test cases Having created modules, we can start creating test cases. To do so, press the Add Case button and describe your test case in the opened window. The test case in EasyQA has the following fields. The title to indicate your test case title. The module to choose the module our test case refers to. If you press Add Case in the module, this field will be entered by default. The Type – select a type of the test case from drop-down list according to the following description, such as Positive is a test case using only correct data. Negative is a test case using not only correct data. Boundary is a test case using maximum or minimum values. Integration is a component of integration testing. UI is testing of a user graphic interface. Localization is testing for location, languages, and so on. Three steps describe the list of actions causing the stage we need to start the testing. Steps are the actions we need to do to reach the expected result. Expected result describes the result we would like to achieve while testing the case. Once you have added the test cases, you can choose them with corresponding checkboxes. We can move them where we need them to be. Also, we are able to edit or delete them. Additional useful features for test case management. After adding a test plan and all its parts, EasyQA gives an opportunity to export a prepared test plan in CSV format by pressing a corresponding button. One more nice feature in EasyQA is the opportunity to import a prepared test plan to our system. You can choose the test plan where you will import test cases and upload CSV file. After clicking Next button, you have to map fields from CSV field to the default fields in EasyQA. To facilitate your work, you can choose the criteria of test case displaying in your test plan. Here you can find the fields user can choose in EasyQA, such as created by, created on, updated by, updated on, module, and type. The team responsible for this part of the website has tried to combine all the main features of the QA department work. Register a new account in EasyQA and try to write test cases with us.